My name is Georges Verbena and this is a video on the title Is Everyone Narcissistic? Are you? What does it mean when people say everybody is a little bit narcissistic? Everybody has narcissism. Stop calling people that. You are narcissistic too. They are narcissistic. Everybody. Why do people say that? What do they mean? Are you? So first of all, first we have to define what is narcissism. According to one person, which is an expert, Alexander Lowen, narcissism is a denial of the true self. It's somebody who is in chronic denial of, of their shame and guilt. So let's say you do something wrong. Let's say you hit your child in anger because you lost control, because the child triggered you, whatever. Let's say you do that, you feel guilty. A healthy person feels guilty when they hurt somebody else. A narcissist feels guilty too, but the narcissist says, uh, nah, I'm not wrong. It was for the right reason. No, 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 I'm not guilty of anything. They deserved it. So the narcissist will make up a story to justify his action. So he doesn't have to feel the guilt. So he will say, it's, it's the child's fault. He did this, he did that. He will make up a story. So it's a fantasy defense. Yeah, the narcissist is lying to himself. And that's to maintain a facade of perfection. No, I can never be wrong. Whatever I do is justified because the guilt is too painful. I'm too fragile. I'm a narcissist. So that is what the real definition is. Now the unreal definition. A definition that 90% of people use. When you go online, somebody calls you, you are narcissistic. Are they saying you are denying your guilt? I know you are guilty, but you're pretending you're not. Are we saying that? If they are not, why do they call you that? Here's five reasons why somebody calls you a narcissist. Number one, you said something that pissed them off and you insist that you are right. So now they claim, oh, you want to be right so badly, even though I am right. You need to be right. So you are a narcissist. So the person to maintain their very fragile, very insecure position. Well, I need to be right, but they need to be right. So, so I can win. They are a narcissist. That's number one. Number two, why people call somebody a narcissist most of the time, not always. This is not to invalidate victims of narcissism, but this is what happens to me when people call me a narcissist. They say, you are a narcissist because you insult me, you are rude to me, and you don't care that you are rude. You know, it's not wrong to not care if you are rude. Sometimes I'm rude to people who are rude to me. But since a person doesn't want to accept what they did to have a root reaction, that means they don't want to res take responsibility for the reason why I'm rude to them, they say you are a narcissist. So your rudeness cannot be justified. I label you. Number two. Number three, why somebody calls somebody a narcissist, why somebody says everybody is narcissistic. Everybody's narcissistic because everybody is selfish. So if, somebo if somebody's selfish, if you're selfish, so if you say, I will say whatever I want, I will do what I want, and if you don't like it, that's your problem. Selfish. If you are that, you are a narcissist, according to the person. Of course, that has nothing to do with narcissism. Nothing. Because narcissism is not about selfishness, as I defined earlier. It's about denial of guilt. There's no, there's no correlation to that whatsoever. So who made this up? Somebody on the internet said, selfish people are narcissists. 
So now everybody calls Platfish people narcissists. Of course, it's completely false. Narcissism is a pathological defense mechanism against shame. It has nothing, and I repeat myself, nothing to do whether you're selfish or not. Nothing. There's plenty of narcissists out there who do charity work, who give to the community. There's even healers, psychotherapists, doctors, surgeons, who help people all the time who are narcissists. It's nothing, it's not about selfishness. So num reason number four, why somebody called somebody a narcissist, because they're super confident. Look at this guy. He's so full of himself because I'm so full of myself. Since my soul is inhabiting this body, by definition, I am full of myself. My soul is in this body. So I'm a narcissist because I am believing that I am the shit. Well, obviously, I do believe I am the shit. Therefore, I am a narcissist, according to the person who is triggered when they see that somebody believes they are the shit. Now, why would somebody be triggered when they see you believing that you are the shit? Because that person believes, I am not the shit. I don't deserve to be the shit. I didn't do enough to prove that I am worthy of being loved. I'm not worthy of being loved. Is the subconscious belief of somebody who goes around calling everybody arrogant, you're arrogant, you're arrogant, you think you're better than me, because they believe they are worse than you. So if you believe you are worse than me, you will accuse me of being better than you. Or believing that I am. As if it's... As if <laughs> You believe there is a problem with feeling better than others. Now, first of all, if you feel good about yourself, you wouldn't even think that somebody's arrogant. You would never, it never comes to my mind. Oh, this person is so arrogant. Arrogant means I believe I'm better than them and to hide my insecurities. Somebody who really believes they are the shit. Really, like, they're actually convinced. And they have evidence to back it up. Let's say they have been a professional esport athlete, one of the best players in their country or continent, like me. Let's say they have earned loads of money helping people successfully fixing their problems, actually like actual credentials, not like a psychotherapist who just talks through your ear, but who actually fixes people's problems successfully. Yes, a person will be confident. Somebody who maybe wins in sports, beats other people all the time, wins against them competitively. Yes, we have again evidence to support that they are the shit. So then the insecure person comes along and says, oh, you're so narcissistic. You're always getting number one in, the, in every competition. You're winning. You are literally a winner. So then this pathological loser, only a loser, calls people arrogant. Because only in the loser's, in the loser's mind, in the loser's fantasy world, there is such a thing as arrogant people. In the winner's world, losers don't exist. Arrogant people don't exist. It's just, I win. So if I see somebody who is like, hmm, thinks he's better than me, I'm like, okay, maybe they are right. May <laughs> no, not really. But maybe they have won a lot of battles. Maybe they have had a lot of success. So now they are a bit confident. Or maybe they are actually trying to deflect from their insecurities. But if somebody is really arrogant, like actually, by definition, which means they're hiding their insecurities, then, you know, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Why would you be triggered by that person? I mean, they're obviously insecure. So what's your problem? Why are they upsetting you? So again, it's powerful logic to go around thinking that because somebody's acting arrogant, that's a narcissist. Actually, most of the time, narcissists act very humble. Narcissists say, I'm just this lowly human, I'm just a servant, I'm just in the background, you do all. 
you 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 do your thing i'm i'm just watching i'm just learning from your awe inspiring presence i'm just learning so much from you i i'm nobody ram das being nobody that's a narcissist okay a narcissist is somebody who puts a front to hide his shame now how do you hide your shame by being like yeah, look at me yes. yeah maybe but really the best way to hide your shame is to say i'm just a servant i'm humble i don't do hurt anybody i'm innocent i'm sweet i'm cute i'm <laughs> that is the best way to hide from shame yeah by never giving anything to attack actual confident people healthy people they are not afraid of being attacked. I'm getting attacked daily. <laughs> I'm going online and there's a person coming along saying, Are you okay? Are you psychotic? Because you seem so confident. You must be psychotic, right? <laughs> People accuse me of being mentally ill on a daily basis. So then a narcissist comes along and everybody is saying, Oh, I, this narcissist is such a great person. Oh, but George is he's a narcissist. He's so full of himself. A narcissist is an empty person. Narcissist is a demonically possessed person. So that person is so empty, evil has taken over. They're like a black hole. Now somebody's arrogant, like pompous, like me, right? It's a shining beacon of light. I'm leaning your face. I'm like sparkling. A narcissist doesn't sparkle. A narcissist is uh, grandiose. A narcissist is shameful. Like, look at this idiot making a fool of himself. That's a narcissist. Look at this. This embarrassing. Narcissists are embarrassing people. Because narcissists are so busy denying that they're doing something embarrassing that they end up doing embarrassing things. Embarrassment means shameful. Embarrassing means I do something that makes me bad in the eyes of others, which makes me feel ashamed because I'm perceived as bad. So the narcissist says, no, 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 I'm not doing anything bad. So the narcissist is like a child, like infantilized, like a piece of jelly. Here at the bottom, this is like a piece of goo. And the goo is very unstable. It's so immature. It doesn't grow. It cannot learn. It's rigid. It's stiff. It's the, like, like gum. And it bends itself to fit into whatever you want to see. But because it's so immature, it's so childish, it cannot see what itself, it cannot perceive itself. So it cannot see if it's been being embarrassing, it cannot see if it's doing something shameful, because it's so busy denying it. So a narcissist is the most embarrassing person possible. Yeah, the most embarrassing. So if somebody comes along, oh, you're sorry, arrogant, you think you're better than me. I'm laughing. If somebody's really arrogant, the person is embarrassing, making a fool of himself. You should feel bad for them. Why are they triggering you? So we saw a discussion about, oh, what is narcissism? It's nothing to do with arrogance. It's not about that. Wrong. It's not about being the center spotlight because the narcissist is always gonna be so embarrassing who's who wants to pay attention to a narcissist really and number three they're not if they're not they're humble like look at me humble pie i'm nobody it's a narcissist okay People get very, very confused because it's so wrong what they say online. Yes, 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 of course, a narcissist is grandiose. But their grandiosity, it doesn't come out the way you expect. Yeah, Like with me, I'm saying, <laughs> look at me. I'm saying, my content is good. I know my content is good because it's original. I don't care what people say or do unless I can learn from it. But I don't copy it. I, I try to grow. I try to expand on what already is. A narcissist is never expanding on anything. It's never an original thought. 
never anything unique, it's all copied. So, when people come to me, you think you're so special, because they see my content is actually special, like I'm actually giving you my own opinions. Oh, so because I have an opinion, since I am subjective, nobody's objective. Everybody's subjective at the end of the day. Since I believe in my own subjectivity, being good enough, right? Since I have a self-esteem, I'm a narcissist. So there's so much fuckery going on online. I don't even, can't even explain just how many examples I could use to explain to you what not narcissism is. But I could give you plenty of examples what narcissism actually really looks like. Victim, oh, I'm being abused. Not me, hello, I am saying, I don't give a shit if you try to abuse me, I'm not being abused. Yeah, people comment all the time shit about me, but I'm not making novelty out of it. Yeah, it's about novelty for the narcissist. The narcissist says, I'm the greatest victim. If, if the narcissist is anything, it's always the greatest, right? I'm the greatest victim, I'm the most humble, I'm the most selfless, whatever people, first of all, not God, not objective reality, <laughs> not something that actually makes sense, but people which are stupid, like monkeys, whatever the monkeys want to see, the Nars will provide, it's like a circus attraction. <laughs> and again, it's embarrassing because it's so predictable, it's so transparent. My goodness, if you really deal with a narcissist, it should be freaking so obvious to you. Like, it's so easy to spot when you know what it looks like. But when you don't know what it looks like, you will come to my channel. You will say, George thinks he's better than me. Because you have no fucking clue what the fuck you're talking about. You didn't research it. I spent hundreds of hours researching this shit. Because I've been dealing with these people like... What the fuck am I dealing with? It's like an alien. What the fuck? This person is the co pretends to be the opposite of what they actually are. If I'm a narcissist, well, why am I acting so much like a narcissist? Why am I making it so obvious to you? <laughs> Look. A narcissist will do the opposite, but he will conform to your pedestal. He will conform to your ideal. Your ideal is not your ideal. It's society's ideal. Society's ideal is be a martyr. Be Jesus on the cross. Do charity. Be super selfless. Be super kind. Super nice. Never offend anybody. Never trigger anyone. Never upset anybody. Give gifts to others. Love bomb others. Praise others. Put other people on the pedestal. Ignore your feelings just function, be a robot, a slave robot. But now he knows how to portray himself as such. A helpless, powerless victim of life who pretends to be a servant of the public, of the community. An altruistic individual. Now, do I claim to be altruistic? <laughs> what the fucking joke? Are you, make, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Me, an altruistic? Certainly not. But the narcissist will claim to be such. Because it's about, about the monkey box. Okay? Very easy. A narcissist pretends to be what society wants to see. A monkey in a zoo. Doing all the tricks that the audience wants to see. Oh, do the victim trick. Yeah, you're a victim. We praise you. Do the altruism trick. You're so selfless, we praise you. Virtue signaling. It's all about the virtues. Now, is it virtuous to go online to claim I am the shit? My content is probably better than yours. And uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I don't need to go on. I mean, you just can, you can tell from the way I speak. Because I don't give a shit. I do, I'm not doing this for likes, okay? I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing these videos, first of all, to heal my own issues, 
because if I don't deal with my issues, my issues are going to come haunting me. Like I always say, Saturn is coming for you. Saturn is also coming for me. If I spend so much time in a loop, like a circus clown, exactly what a narcissist is, trying to please the audience, doing all the tricks they want to see. Since I'm doing none of that shit, you can be 100% guaranteed, so easy, assured, but I'm not a narcissist. Easy. Am I being a circus clown to appease you? Yes or no? If the answer is no, I'm not a narcissist. Period. That simple. Okay? Good. So, if you, yes, you, I'm talking to you. If you are watching this and you recognize yourself as the circus clown of always trying to please people, always trying to avoid their judgments so you can play tricks to deceive them, to manipulate them, to construct a false identity, a facade, so they like your content, so they give you money, so they give you a sense of belonging, oh, acceptance and love. No, you're not a narcissist. But you are narcissistic. Yes. So that is the definition of being narcissistic. And if you ask, is everybody narcissistic? Most people are. Yes. So everybody has the tendency to be narcissistic for real because we're trying to avoid the shame of nonconformity. The shame of no longer being the circus clown, no longer playing the tricks, no longer playing the victim, no longer playing the innocent, no longer people pleasing, no longer agreeing, no longer doing whatever the fuck do the monkeys want to see. My goodness. The monkeys want to be the monkey. It's very simple. Somebody likes you because you are like them. So to get liked by most people, you need to be like most people. Most people are not going to go to my channel. My algorithm is very low. I don't have many viewers. Why? YouTube doesn't boost me. I don't do clickbait titles. I don't say, oh, you are ascending into 5D. You are so close to the Rainbow Bridge. If you just do this little positivity bypassing, then you will ascend. I don't do that. So I don't get thousands of viewers. I do the opposite. I say, Forget the rainbow, but it doesn't exist. You're delusional. You're dissociating. Stop it. Snap out of it. So then because uh, that is very uncomfortable, nobody wants to hear that they are delusional. And nobody wants to hear that they are subject to brainwashing. They're being attacked by brainwashing from all sides. Every, everybody's talking shit. And there is this one person, at least one of some, there are many people like me, but not many, who actually knows some shit and can say something constructive to fix my problems. Oh, no, 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 I don't like that because I don't want to fix my problems. I want to avoid my problems because if I had to actually take responsibility for my life and fix my problems, I'd actually have to do the work. I'd actually have to deal with Saturn, with reality, which is, is of course, what a narcissist doesn't want to do. Which is why a narcissist is usually popular, because most people don't want to do that. So most people, by definition, are narcissistic. Yes, again, you see how this cycle is closing. Everything is connected. Connect the dots. Narcissism is about conformity, not rebellion. Yeah, they say, oh, I'm so rebellious. Meanwhile, they have a whole circus of monkeys supply. Sources of audience is like, oh, like me because I'm like you. Love bombing everybody. I mean, this is the most codependent uh, clown narcissist that you can possibly imagine. Yeah. So if I go into a crowd, I'm like, I'm standing out like a, like what? Like a black sheep in, in white sheep. I know it's a funny example, but. Yeah, so I get targeted a lot. People who are not narcissists, they get targeted. Does a narcissist get targeted? Of course not. He's a circus artist. He knows exactly how to blend into the crowd. He knows how to play people because he's a manipulator. <laughs> does a manipulator attract attention? Or does he stay, stay covert, low-key? Actually unnoticed. 
unrecognized. Which is why most people fall for it. Which is why most people fall for narcissism. Because they assume, oh, it's this grandiose person in the room, or is it Georgios who thinks he's better than me because he actually doesn't give a shit about you. Oh no, he doesn't give a shit about me. Doesn't give a shit about my boxes. He doesn't want to play along to do the circus tricks I want to see to to uh, to validate that being fake is the right way to do uh, life. And uh, he doesn't want to shadow dance with me. So he's a narcissist. The, the narcissist shadow dances with you. He forms an alliance with your shadows. He uses your shadows against you. So the narcissist says, oh... You did this, you did that. So he triggers you and he triggers your shame. Then he uses your shame to control you. Shame, shame, shame. It's all about shame. And it's about uh, making you an addict by love bombing you seducing you, charming you. Am I fucking charming you? Do I look like I waste my time for your likes? Which are probably worthless, most of you, because you're not paying me enough to perform circus tricks in front of you. So I'm not doing it. But the narcissist doesn't need to be paid. He just needs your attention. As long as he can, he, he can keep your attention to figure out what tricks you want to see, then that's what you see. So, why does somebody attract narcissists? Why does somebody deal with narcissists at all? Because, because uh, you're part of a shadow dance. But narcissists he manipulates you because you're ignoring your intuition. Ignoring your feelings. You are conforming. You are cooperating with a facade. So you're waiting for those facts. You're waiting for the obvious. But nothing's obvious of narcissism. Except it is if you know how to identify it. But it's all, it's, it's all about under wraps, underwater. It's what I described before, playing the victim, being humble, altruistic, selfless. The, the martyr, the helper. And the personality is rigid. So the personality gets easily offended if you say you're not selfless so then the person says no i am selfless and then you are selfish if somebody gets triggered because they're accused of being selfish they are narcissistic not the narcissist just narcissistic so that's what narcissists do narcissists call you selfish they call you cold when you don't do what they want you to do. And then, because you're so narcissistic, you say, oh, I'm, I don't like being selfish when people don't love me. So then you try to be more selfless. Selfless, by definition, means less of yourself. <laughs> means you become more fake. So you give a narcissist what he wants, meaning your service. A selfless person means I do not serve myself since I'm not here. I serve them. I'm the monkey for the circus. So you attract a monkey for the circus. A narcissist. Yeah? Easy. A narcissist is a slave. So therefore, a narcissist is only a biological match to slaves. If you are a master, if you are a commander-in-chief, if you listen only to yourself, really, if you are selfish, so to speak, <laughs> selfish, not selfish like fish, but <laughs> self <laughs> selfish, meaning you are 
yourself, you're, you're yourself, you're yourself, then you are not a match to the narcissist who is not himself. Yourself means you feel guilty, you do something wrong, and you own it. You say, yeah, I did something wrong. I accept that. The narcissist says, no, I don't accept that. I need to be loved. I need to play the circus tricks. It's only about guilt and shame to conform to the group, the hive mind, the monkey circus. Are you an animal? Then you are a match to the narcissist. You are a robot. You're reacting to the neurons in your brain firing off. Oh, I did something shameful. I must go back to doing whatever it is I need to do to not be shameful. You, you're, you're so shameful, the narcissist says. You're so selfish. You're embarrassing. You're bad. Well, do you believe the narcissist? Are you bad? Because if you believe it, again, you are a match to the narcissist. Narcissists will tell you these things, you believe them, so you stay with a narcissist. If you don't believe that you are bad, if you don't believe that you did something wrong, you're not a match. Simply. The narcissist subconsciously knows they did something wrong, but consciously they don't know that they know. So they are unconsciously attracting people who are a bad object, who have a bad self-image, who feel like they are unworthy of being respected, of being treated well, accepted, loved. That's what it is about. It's about self-value, self-acceptance. Because you only accept yourself if you are a circus monkey. If you play the tricks, if you play whatever gets gets you likes and acceptance and that's it so the only thing that you are worthy of is hell that's what you believe right the only thing you're worthy of is hell so hell is what the universe will bring you so we'll bring you a narcissist it's only reacting to your self-worth you believe you 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 do deserve this mistreatment this disrespect of your boundaries you're a bad person, you're selfish, so yeah, you get the person to call you all these things, to believe it about you, because you agree. If you don't agree, you're not a match. If a narcissist comes and calls you selfish and you say, I'm not selfish, what the fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck away from me, you crazy nuts, lunatic. And the narcissist will go, the narcissist will leave and go somewhere else, find another victim. That's simple. Know your worth? What does it mean? <laughs> I would have to do a whole video on that subject, but anyways. This is what narcissism is about. Now, if you found this video helpful, leave a like. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're interested in a reading, in astrology, one-on-one -on -one, or a consultation if you want to know how to develop a healthy sense of self so you're no longer a match to these people and if you want to learn how to recognize these people identify them you can book a consultation with me sorry and you can reach out through email or messenger on facebook anytime and that's basically it Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.